So, um, <clears throat> just wanted to share what I like to use on my spinning reels. I've experimented with a lot of braid over the years. You know, one thing that I've learned and I've had trouble with is getting like wind knots and it just drives you crazy, you know, you just stay pissed off all day. Um, fell in knots, this and that. I was using eight to 10 pound. You know, I had trouble with some of the castability of it on my personal spinner rods and I just wasn't a fan. I mean, I just couldn't figure out what the perfect setup was. And you know, it was, could have been me like spooling it up wrong, um, anything like that. But one thing that I've noticed, I've went down in my line size, I went to six pound Berkley X5. Um, that's the package right there. You can see some Dumbo on the side of the package. I don't know who that is, but you know, six pound, you think, man, six pounds like really a lot. Like, this line is incredibly strong. I have never, when I say never, I've never broken it. Going to six pound was like, it changed my life when it comes to spinner rods because the castability of it, all that. I mean, there's just so many advantages to having a smaller line. Um, and I feel like you, I mean, hey man, on a baitcaster or spinning reel, or, you know, even uh, floor carbon, having the smallest line you can, it definitely makes a difference. You know, I, I really fell in love with the six pound and I, I've always thrown the X5, more coarse feeling, that's what that means. It's a, the five actually stands for five carrier. I didn't know that. Um, I didn't know what X5 or nine, you see the numbers online. So it's stranded like five times. So it's, you know, the lower the number, if you're gonna feel it, you're gonna hear it more, um, you know, coming through your guides, stuff like that. But it's really personal preference. I mean, I feel like your notch strength on this is, you know, a little bit better. On, uh, on Berkeley's package, it says, uh, you know, notch strength, easy to use, casting distance, abrasion resistance, smoothness. And it has X9 and X5 on there. And uh, basically, casting distance, they're, they're saying you can cast the X9 further. Um, and it's showing that the notch strength's good on both. Both are easy to use. Um, casting distance is better. It's showing that X5 is abrasion resistance. It's just a little bit better, so it'll probably cut through the grass a little bit easier. And the smoothness um, is the X9. So take this out of the pack and show y'all. Same thing, six pound. It's like dental floss, though. I mean, it really is. Uh, this is a really smooth braid. So you know, I like this more top water frogging, um, flipping because you don't make as much noise. That's what X5 and X9 mean, um, but really good line. Try that next time you pull up your spinning reel. Go and downsize. Downsize your spinning reel line to six pound. I'm telling you, Lucas told me, he said, dude, you won't go back, and I have not. I got every one of my reels has got, um, six pound, either X5 or X9. Both of these are X5. Um, got the FG on there. And it, dude, it's, it's butter, it's money. You, you will not regret it. Um, so try it out, tell them what you think. It's the juice, tell them.